Welcome back. Ladies and gentlemen, to some Risk of Rain. Uh, I was having some fun with this game, and I was fiddling around with some options, and my game crashed, and I lost my save data for whatever reason. I don't know what happened there. I mean, nope, oh, that's not what I meant to click. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll just have to back up our saves, but as I can, I've only played two games as Commando since then. I haven't really unlocked anything, I don't think. Oh, I can't click on those with the controller. Okay. Oh, and I haven't... Oh, that was weird. It wouldn't let me click on achievements, but now I can. They've unlocked Gasoline and Paul's Goat Hoof, and that's pretty much it, I think. Yeah. Kind of sucks, but, you know, at least we didn't have too much stuff unlocked. And like I said, I'll just have to remember to back up my stuff more often. Uh, but with all that being said, let's get back into some single player. I may end up doing co-op in the future. Uh, it just depends on if another friend of mine wants to play or not. So, yeah. I'm not sure why the... Uh, can the uh, the cursor moves so slowly when you're using a controller. It's kind of annoying. Yeah. There's nothing up here except for some enemies, which I guess we can kill. Righteous. <laughs> this guy's stuck on this little platform. Push him down. There we go. Oh, we actually need to go up here to get across because there's no way to get up otherwise. Okay. I guess we can open some containers on our way too. Ooh, and one of those um, imp shrine things. We actually have enough money to do it twice, so hopefully we can uh, complete them both. Crap, I totally messed up that. Oh well. I know what I did wrong. <laughs> Pretty sure... Whoop, damn, that's not what I meant to push. No! Dang it, almost got that last one. I just kept pushing the uh, wrong buttons because I rebounded my controls. And then I put them back, but I'd gotten used to the, the old controls. Or the, the new controls, rather. So yeah, I'm kind of dumb. Oh, and really, we have to go all the way back up there. Oh my goodness. Yeah, sometimes the, the generation in this game can kind of screw you over. Well, let's get on back there. We are just playing on normal difficulty, so we have time. I just want to get any enemies that spawn up here first. Okay. Got it this time for sure. It just would have been nice to uh, get two items instead of just one, but oh well. It's fine. The te teleporter's probably going to be on the... L oh, right there. Okay. I want another uh, imp spawner. Easy. Okay. Head stompers, so not the best, but... We have the Wandering Vagrant, okay, so then old Jellyfish dude. I'm glad that I discovered he doesn't do any contact damage, so that makes my life much easier. Not easy, but just easier at least. Oh jeez, I'm about to die. I don't know what- oh, it's the stupid little, um... Those like will o wisp looking things. I'll just stay here and dodge his attacks. At least until more enemies spawn. Oh man, this is gonna end badly, I can tell. Too many enemies! Ah! 10 HP in a dream, baby! Fortunately, after that 90 seconds is up, uh, enemies stop spawning and we just have to kill what remains. No, go away you stupid fireball. Oh god, those jellyfish. Okay. 
Okay, at least no more enemies will spawn, so let's just go down here. Since no more enemies should pop down here. There we go. I got a Will-O-Wisp. Or Will-O-The-Wisp, I guess. Uh, well, we've been having some trouble surviving, so let's get the, uh, the meat nugget thing. Enemies drop chunks of healing meat. It's not a very good item from what I've heard, but it's our best bet for now. Let's go activate this uh, imp shrine after we kill all these enemies. Actually, let's get this chest first, since it's in a safe spot. Barbed wire. We're getting all these like sort of close range items, which I don't really want, but still better than nothing. Oh, I was hoping we could get up on that platform. Because it's on the same level as all these guys, so I could just shoot them from safety. There we go. We have fire shield and um, imp log. How do we get up there? Oh, we have to go up these ropes. I don't think there were any more chests over there, so... Let's just go to the left, past the teleporter. We've spent a lot of time on level 1, but we do have a fair bit of money. So I would like to get any other chests that may be out there. Or shrines, or whatever. Oh, container. I really like this game's soundtrack as well. Oh, two tier two chests, okay. Prison Shackles is pretty good. Oh, nothing down there, but we will get that uh, container. Mask, nice. Killing an enemy summons a ghost. That's pretty nice getting a red item on level one. I'll spend one on the shrine and then uh, another red item, nice, and then get probably just this healing item. Alright, we have five dollars, so there's nothing else we can even do, so I'm not going to bother exploring the rest of the map. Yeah, it's nice getting a bunch of items that slow and do CC and stuff. Damp caverns. I don't. I don't remember what the secret on this map is. Was it pretty good acrid. I don't remember. I really want acrid. He looks cool. <laughs> oh jeez. Hello there. of elites, actually. How nice we froze them. <laughs> See, a bunch of slows and freezes, that's really good. Oh, those are the, the ghosts, right? Okay, from the mask. Thought they were enemies. <laughs> oh, teleporter right here. Very nice. Magmorm. Okay. No, oh, go away. Wish I had more healing items. Like a monster tooth or a even um what is it, leeching seed, I think it's called. The one that it heals you when you hit things for a little bit. Oh, we're definitely gonna die. Taking way too much damage. I'm not good enough at commando. <laughs> oh, 
that pop. <laughs> Ooh, those ghosts, uh, I forgot that those ghosts do damage to, like, bosses and stuff. Which is really good. So they can hit all of his little, like, bits. Oh, I pressed roll right there. Dang it. Yeah, let's try again. I think I'll just leave all my... I won't, I won't cut out attempts, I don't think. Uh, just so that way you can see what items I pick up and stuff when I get them. So you can kind of keep up and not have to try and decode what's going on at the bottom of the screen. <laughs> I actually didn't want to knock that guy off his ledge. I just have to move down to get him. Any tier 1 chests around here? Oh, but there's a container. I want to be good at this game. <laughs> It seems like a like it's challenging, and a lot of it's based on randomness. But there is a large skill, uh, large area for skill as well to determine how well you do. It's not just items. All right, let's. Oh, there's actually three things right here. I didn't notice that chest to the right. Let's get the knife, and then that monster tooth down below. So we have some bleeding and some heals. And then we'll get that chest later. Oh wow, we are one gold short. Dang it. Come on, show me a container or something. Oh, another item shop, okay. Here's a container. Although I've kind of gotten my stuff self stuck down here, although I'm sure there's a way back up. shop over here. Get that, uh, double damage item. I don't remember what it's called, the little sudden glasses. Lens maker's glasses. And here's the teleporter off to the side of the map. Next to a chest as well. Oh, magma worm to start off with. Ooh, double jump. Okay. I'm okay with this. Oh, go away. room. <laughs> I actually need to wait uh, for that magma worm to do something specific so I can do more damage to him. Well, it didn't work out that time because he jumped too high, but when he loops back around, I can actually hit him twice with my, uh, my full metal jacket, the sort of all damaging ability. Or the, the line damaging, rather. Another log. Excellent. I just actually hit him three times there.
Come on, pop back up. There you are. And he's dead. Ooh, what's this? Here's to the cooldown of use items. Ooh, okay. Very nice. I'm not sure what the percentage is, but it is a red quality item. Okay, we have to figure out a way to get back up, because all the enemies are dead, but we have so much money right now. I forgot we have double jump too. Okay, we're gonna grab this chest and then use the shrine two or three times. Ooh, yes, a use item. Nice, okay. Alright, infusion, very good. Let's go ahead and use it one more time. Get another monster tooth, very nice. Okay, we're doing good for, like, health items. So far, anyway. Items overall, though, we're looking a little sparse. We have, like, seven total, including the, uh, a double monster tooth. Ooh, Tesla. Nice, okay. <laughs> Do a drone. Uh, I'm gonna hold off on that for now, just in case there's more chests. I don't want to use up all my money. And if, oh, yep, there's another uh, item shop. Take that crowbar. Another imp shrine up there. That one's in a tricky spot, though. Is this a chest? Yes, it is. Oh, I think we have. Yeah, we have just enough money to do both imp shrine attempts. Plus, have like $2 left over. Ooh, uh. I'll just, I'll just take this 50 chest. The prison shackles. Okay. I just didn't want to. Because. The way those imps were it seems like it'd be kind of, kind of a difficult spot to get everything, just because they could fall down and I'd have to run around and try to not desert them. <laughs> Unfortunately, it means we can't get this drone, but oh well, not a big deal. Yeah, I'm a big fan of those uh, the missile item we got. It's pretty cool. And we'll be able to use it a lot because of the reduced cooldown item we got as well. Okay, Sky Meadow. That was a bit of a waste. I was hoping some enemies had spawned somewhere and that the missiles would go after them. But nope, no enemies had spawned yet. Where are the enemies? Come on. <laughs> oh, there's a the teleporter. Is this gonna spawn, spawn the golem boss? No, Ancient Wisp, okay. I like these missiles because their, like, seeking radius is huge, so you can get enemies that are, like, off-screen. It's very nice, especially, uh, during the kill all remaining enemies thing after the teleporter time has gone up. You don't have to hunt down every single one, you can just fire up your missiles. And kill them all. Get those guys on the lower level. No, go away. Tessa's doing a lot of damage, but uh, I'm also taking a lot. 
His enemies need to be in like melee range basically to get hit by it. But as long as we can keep killing enemies, we will keep getting healed. Oh yeah, we're doing well now. <laughs> I do know that this level tends to have less chests, so it's kind of annoying. I don't really want the war banner. I know it can be okay, but I want something that's more reliable. Like the knife. Okay. Or the rusty blade, if you will. I'm not sure if that increases the chance or if it increases the damage or both. Oh, we have double jump. I thought, oh, we can't hit those guys, but we can. <laughs> It'd probably be quicker just to do this, actually, instead of being a derp. That Tesla does some pretty respectable damage, though. That's nice. I saw this left as the boss. Not too concerned about him, though. Because, again, we do need to get all the chests we can find. I'll get that drone if uh, we can't spend the rest of our money on chests and stuff. Why, is there nothing here? Oh, there's one. Okay. Oh, another crowbar. I'll take it. Yeah, you can see how just those two volleys of rockets that I've used on the boss so far, how much damage they do. I don't want to spend too much on those shrines because they're pretty expensive. I'll just give it one shot. I actually didn't get too much money this, this round. I guess because we did find the, uh, the teleporter pretty quickly, but... Come on, give me some more chests. Please, game. Nothing? Wow. I think that's the least amount of chests I've like ever seen in a level before. Okay. Your whip is nice. Oh jeez. That those guys hurt a lot. Oh my goodness. Please Oh my god. I don't even know what happened there. Uh, and we're still not unlocking anything, which is really annoying. So there's no point in doing anything other than saying try again. I was just about to take that shrine, but when some enemies feel like spawning for us, we can get some extra gold and grab a chest. I really don't like shrines. Gotsuf is a good first item, though. Gotta go fast. I really don't like those will o wisp things. Because they're one of the only, like, enemies in the game that has a ranged attack. And when you have a whole bunch of them... Pretty annoying. I think my least favorite enemy type that I've encountered so far, though, is the uh, spider mines or whatever they're called. That just remind me of spider mines from StarCraft. Because they're fast, they can jump up and down, they have a ranged attack, the elites can fire missiles at you. It's just really obnoxious. Oh man, that was a derp. I was not prepared at all for those. Oh well. I 
let's just get this teleporter. Wandering vagrant. I I really don't like the jellyfish either. <laughs> like it's not a it's not particularly difficult. It's just annoying. Get out of here, jellyfish. <laughs> Very nice, and they got another shield. <laughs> Lord knows we need that, so. So many. I don't even know what these enemies are called. They look like little little lizards to me. <laughs> we do have a decent chunk of money, though I think we're gonna hold we're not gonna get the uh, the goblin shrine unless or the imp shrine rather, unless there's no other chests on the map. Just because of its position and our capability, or lack thereof. Oh sweet, the missiles again. I'll take it. We got pretty lucky with that. Let's gong this once. Head stompers, eh. Kind of, they're okay. Like, they can be good, but they're just unreliable for me anyways. And they synergize with other items, like double jump and jump higher and the jetpack and stuff that, you know, basically whatever gives you more air time. Or higher altitudes. So I guess, what is this? Oh, that's the gate thing. Yeah. Actually, no, I, I'd rather, I'd definitely rather have the missiles. Because we can, I think we can use that to recall to a specific location, so like we could place that near a teleporter. Then activate it and run off and kill everything and get all the items. Uh, yeah, there's a secret back there. We, I don't, can we get to that? I actually don't know. Maybe if we jump from up here, and then use our roll. Oh, not quite. Uh, let's go higher. So I don't know if we can go down that sort of cliff there from up here. Nope. Man, that sucks. Okay, let's get some items. Well, there's only this and the imp shrine left. So, uh, I'm just gonna go for this, screw it, because I don't trust myself with that imp shrine. And we get nothing, nice, okay. Well, this level is pretty much a fail. Oh well, and we can't get that secret, because we can't jump high enough and our tumble doesn't take us far enough. Even with the goat hoof, we still need a, a double jump or something to get over there. Oh, I could have sworn I pressed X when I walked over that. Oh, yeah, now we have 
long cooldowns because I don't have that little orb anymore. That was really nice. Also, I really don't like those little poison mushroom things. Oh great, two more spawned. Thanks, game. <laughs> Can't we squeeze through there? It looks like we would be able to. But no. When we have enough money to get something here, let's get that monster tooth. Yeah, I think... That hole on the left there is just for show, because I remember I've tried to go through there before, even when I had like double jumps and all that kind of stuff, and it still didn't really, uh... It's, it's basically a solid wall, as far as I can tell. Right, maybe I'm missing something, but... I don't. I don't even know why I do shrines. Because I swear, like three quarters of the time, I get nothing from them. But granted, this item shop isn't exactly the best, but at least it would have been a guaranteed item. Dang it! Oh, that's his Tesla. For a sec, I, for I forgot that we don't have Tesla anymore. So I was just standing there taking that lightning damage for no reason. Go away. No, no, not two of them. Okay, fortunately, that uh, little Will Wisp thing on the right is on the level beneath us, so it can't actually hit us with its uh, little ranged attack dealio. Let's get a uh, gasoline here. Again, not the greatest item, but it's something. Just kill that mushroom, please. No? Okay. I should probably stop doing this and start actually looking for the teleporter. And I know that there's probably a chest to the left there. Yeah. Nope, that was not the way to get it. <laughs> I was hoping that we could, but I keep overestimating the strength of our our roll. Or rather, the, the distance that it'll take us. Megworm, okay. That first aid. So many enemies on my platform, go away! Oh jeez, we're dying. I don't know why I've been doing so badly. I know... I've gotten to level like 4 or 5 solo before. Granted, not as the commando, but... The commando shouldn't be that hard to... do anything with. Well, hey, at least we got an achievement. Dodge seven lethal attacks. Oh! <laughs> Didn't even see that orange arrow when I was uh, focusing on killing the other enemies. Oh, at least we unlocked the uh, the soldier stim, I think that is, right? Yeah. Just increases our attack speed by like 10% or something like that. Okay, well, I'm going to keep practicing off camera. Hopefully, unlock a couple characters. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.